Do you know what it feels like when everything you had ever worked for is about to be taken over by an internal enemy? There's a story in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 15 where Absalom turned against his father, David. He planned to kill him and take over his throne. As if that was not enough, David's trusted men, even his own wise counselor, Aitofi, whom he has leaned on, also turned against him. The Bible records it in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 15, verse 30 to 31. 2 Samuel chapter 15, verse 30 to 31. David continued up the Mount of Olives, weeping as he went. His head was covered and he was barefoot. All the people with him covered their heads too and were weeping as they went home. This was a tragic time in the life of David. It was a dramatic moment. It was a time of crisis. Knowing fully well that the counsel of Ahitophel was always accurate and precise, David knew that if Absalom should listen to the counsel of Ahitophel, he would be a dead man. So David prayed a prayer. He said, O oh Lord, turn the counsel of Ahitophel to foolishness. Every enemy has a counselor because they are looking for the best strategy to strike. Do you know that Absalom did not take the counsel of Ahitophel? When Ahitophel realized that his counsel was not taken, he went home and committed suicide. Absalom and all his men also perished. I pray for you that this month, every wise counselor that is giving your enemy counsel on how best to kill you, on how best to kill your marriage, on how best to kill your children, on how best to kill your business, on how best to kill your church, on how best to kill your nation, God will turn their counsel to foolishness. As a turn the counsel of Aitofe to foolishness in the life of David, it will turn the counsel of your enemies over you to foolishness and the death that they were expecting you to die, they will be the one that will die in your place in the name of Jesus. Amen.